Hello everybody, not wasting any time today because I'm tagging the average gamer and I don't waste time because I'm serious and these bushes need to die. And look, we got some hots, the bushes love us. Anyways, like I said, I'm tagging the average gamer in case you've all forgotten because you don't know me at all because you know you're just, you just, you're a forgetful person, you know, if you were of mine and you're forgetful. Anyways, any foozles, I mean, that rock, that, that, that clawing lucky, as you can see, we're playing Oracle of Seasons, the game that we all know and love. And you know, oh man. Which maple syrup which is after my Cheerios? Okay, as normal, I'm gonna bump into her a little early. And it looks like she has a ring that I definitely want. I like any rings, it's free stuff. I could probably sell it in the dark market, the black market, the dark black market. How racist of them. And I think I get a little bit more than she said. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I get more than her. Anyways, yeah, let's continue on with these red leaf looking thingies. And I'm pretty sure I know where to go. I think I know where to go. Um, you're obviously not there. Lecture fish, uh, blue octoraka. And this place looks mysterious. I don't think this is anywhere. No, I think there's something here. And what do you know? I was right. This that was my intuition. That was Tag's intuition. So let's go ahead and equip my Pegasus seeds. Pegasus seeds are so useful, like in this game or in like any. Well, I don't know if I think Ages has them. I don't know. That's a st who cares about Ages? We're playing Seasons, the game of the gamingness. And Pegasus seeds are pretty awesome because they let you move fast. Kind of like the Pegasus boots, obviously, because it's the Pegasus, the Pegasus seeds, Pegasus boots. And that's obviously not the place to go. Anyways, so the Pegasus seeds make you run faster. And I think if you use the um, the jumpy rocks, feather, whatever, it makes you go further. I'm pretty sure this is where I need to go. And there is a switch and some evil minions that I must annihilate with my soul. And, uh, you know, yes, that is how I want my setup. I... Okay, I didn't hit the switch. I was wondering why nothing was happening. I was like, oh my, I hit you. Anyways, um, let's see. Where do I go from here? Hmm. I think I might need... What's his name? Fluffy? Puffy? I don't remember his name. Poofy? Bowie? Joey? No. Hmm. Regardless, I need Blue Panda Bear. There. He oh, wait, I just remembered. It's Moosh. Moosh is his name. Moosh. Moosh is his name. How could I forget such a name of the thing? So yeah, we're gonna go over there real fast because he is over there. Actually, no, I probably have to recall him. I think these are stink seeds. Got him before. Um, the tree doesn't want to be cut off for some unknown reason. Alright, moving on. So we're gonna go over here. I think I'm gonna call him over here because I don't know if I can get to him if I call him in there. Do -do -de -de. Got him. Where is he? There's Moosh, the blue flying panda bear thing. And let's fly, Moosh, you and I, to Neverland, the land where children can roam free and be one with applesauce. Oh, uh, yeah. The only thing I don't like about Moosh that I've never liked about Moosh is that like his attack is so hard to use. I like, sure you just jump in the air and do like a butt smash, but it's so inconsistent and it's just not, it's just difficult to kill an enemy without getting attacked before using it. It's just, a, it's just a nuisance to me. I've never liked it. You can criticize me all you like. You you Moosh fans with your Moosh plushies and your Moosh hats and your Moosh clothing brand, you know, I, I apologize. You know, Moosh is a pretty cool dude. He likes his Moosh stuff. But Moosh is not the guy for me. And there's a cave here. I'm going to... Uh, moosh, oh, get Moosh. Okay, Moosh. Okay, Moosh to move. Moosh move. Moosh move. Don't feel... Oh, a Deku thing. Yes, I agree. Oh man. Hey, that, that's a nice thing to do, man. You gave us a free bag of seeds. And it was back on Moosh. Alright, I don't... Okay, let's... Uh, I just... I'm hopping on this giant pander bear... Pander. Pander bear. Uh, I guess I'll go this way. I don't really know where to go. This place is confusing. I vaguely remember this area from my childhood playing. And there's a flag, and it's smiling at us. It must be Joey the Flag. That's his new name. Joey the Flag. And there is some Moblin King. He is ch telling us that we should pay a toll, and I'm like, T, T, no. And yes, this is a flooded island. Ooh. Ooh, that's no, not really an island now, is it? What? You're leaving me, Moosh? Moosh, you're a coward. You're a coward. That girl blowing bubbles has more f awesome sauce than you. Okay, so basically this place has been flooded and in her way to cope with depression that she's been separated from the rest of her life and family, she must blow bubbles because she doesn't know how to swim. Swimming is a difficult thing to people. You know, you just, swimming is hard. You know, you have, to, you have to understand what she's going through. Swimming's not easy. 
And so she's blowing bubbles to, you know, that's her way of wishing to the, like, the water god, hey, water god, I can't swim. Can you, can my bubbles help me? I have no idea where the hell I'm going with this. I apologize for telling you guys false lies. And that guy reminds me of the guy from Link's Awakening who would shoot you with a laser beam or Kamehameha wave. You'd be like, Kamehameha, Steeler. Steeler. Steelers is a football team, I'm sure. I don't watch football, so don't criticize me when I'm wrong. I don't even know their mascot. It's probably a horse. Steel horse. This room looks boring. Leaving. Alright. What is up here? A tree with whirlwinds. The Gale Sea. Take me where I want to go. Open my satchel to use them. I will probably do that to same save time one day in my life. And this video of Let's Play video thing I'm doing for all of you. Because you all are doing. And what is that? A, a, a beast being tormented by children. Children beasts. All right, you're protecting the city. How awful are you being today, young man of the life stream? Ha! Huh. They can't swim. They just float off into the distance. Dimitri, hey, I think this is the lizard dude I was talking about in the previous video that I said I never got. I guess I lied to you. I guess you do get him. Hey, so we, now we can officially use Dimitri and climb up waterfalls, and he can eat people with like a, a chomping attack. Die! Die! So anyway, chomping attack. Pretty cool, bros. Uh, waterfalls. You can swim up. Swim up the waterfalls. It's pretty cool. Um, his only real usefulness is swimming up waterfalls. Like that, that's pretty much it. He can't really do anything else, and these sharks are not going to kill me today. And lots in here. A big water thingy. Oh, a chest. This chest will be mine. I claim it the air. 50 rupee chest. All right. Now let's not. Okay. Yeah. Let's eat a bush. And there's a man. Who is that man? He's a diver. He wants a pupil. He wants pupils of his eye vision, his vision eyes. He wants pupils. So we need to go get a thingy to give him a new pupil vision. I'm sure that's what they were trying to say when they were making this game. Anyways, right up here, we'll go up to another one where we have a very difficult puzzle that no one can solve. It's like the unsolvable puzzle. In reality, that's a lie. And I wish I would stop jumping on these things. Anyways. <sighs> <sighs> Out of breath. Ooh. So we gotta make um, a really easy. Basically, what the dude want us wants us to do is hit all of these in one hit. I think there's actually multiple ways you can do this, but the way I do is make an L and I just spin. I don't know. It's actually not an L. It's a backwards L. Oh well, you all don't care. So we go in here and we get the um, the little plate and just come down here. Don't don't feel like just going back down. Just go through jumping off. It's much easier. And now we have the plate for the pupil's vision. We're gonna go back up and give it to said dude because he'll be like, oh man, you get a bad for me, thing, so. And uh, he, he's a he's a pretty nice guy if you ask me. He's a pretty he's a pretty good guy, you know. I've met some pretty cool people in my time, and you're all probably wondering why I just got really quiet, and that's an excellent thing you're asking me right then. It's because I was just trying to think my mic wasn't working for some reason. If, did you know, ever get that time when you're talking to somebody, and you're like not getting a response? You're like, hey, you there? In reality, they're there, and they're just really quiet. And hey, you got another thingy. Yeah, it just happens all the time. Now that we have the flippers, really no need for Dimitri. So we'll talk to said female, because she's talking about flooding, and flooding is terrible. Apparently it came from some snow, and snow is bad in many ways so we should all not go snow s snowing okay that doesn't make sense who cares you know snow is snow and snow is snow mo no 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 go in here and what is it? Oh, a dark mysterious room it's actually just a treasure chest here that i want to have i can't seem to cut that leaf thing and we get a, a gasha seed um i think i might well might as well go plant it up where i was because you know it's just not that far away um, you know, I probably won't even get all these seeds. Or I probably will one day when I come backtracking, which backtracking only comes like once every blue moon. So you never know when I'm possibly going to go do said thing. But, you know, that's fine. We'll go ahead and plant that. And the next place we probably need to go is, uh, I think there's a secret entrance over here. And it should be up here, if I remember correctly. And Yeah, I was right. Okay, sweet. So it's right down here, and you have these blooper-looking things. I don't know what they are. I always thought they were bloopers. It's just some Mario cameo. Nintendo likes making cameos because they're Nintendo. And you know, they always do that. Silence again. I'm sure you probably heard some like <laughs> noise because you know, I'm just really paranoid today that my heart's just going to stop and I'm going to die. No, I'm kidding. I'm never going to die. No, I am going to die one day. That was a lie. I lied to you all about me not dying. I apologize. So, yeah, I'm kind of at a loss what to do. I don't, I don't really remember this area. I'm pretty sure we'll probably have to go back to, like, the underworld place so we can get, um, another season change. Because you pretty much have to get a season. And there's Moosh! 
Sniff, sniff, spring banana. My eye. That's a monkey, not a panda bear. I am losing my mind. My mind is lost. There's a kakaku. Kukaku, kakaku, kakaku. There's a raven. Ravens. Ravens. Let's see. Over here is nothing. Over here is. Can't get there yet, and I wanted to go there. I was just, I wasn't paying attention. My mind got the better of me. I, we'll just have to go through the first jump first. That way we can get to said area. And I don't even want said area. I never talked about the area before. The portal blue thing is where we're trying to go. And why Zula over here? What? What? You. You ran into me. You shall feel the wrath of Link, the nature planter. Ah. Oh. And yeah, they stole my frickin' feather that makes me jump somehow when you get a green rock that looks like a dinosaur that we can hit people with. And there they are. I will kill them with my mind. And they're gonna try to escape me like a normal person won't because they're they're jerks. They're jerk people, you know them? They're jerk people. So we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to play a similar mini game to what we did with the girl with a ribbon. Basically the same thing is um, you just try to avoid them, don't get seen. They'll try to pull a little tricks on you. Um, not too difficult. Pretty much the exact same as the ribbon chick thing. And yeah, I, I don't really know their pattern, but considering how easy, I'm pretty sure the game makers intended this to be. I'm pretty sure it won't be difficult. Matter of fact, I don't think I've ever failed at any of these. Well, hmm, that's not entirely true. I'm pretty sure I failed at least once. But anyways, you want to keep on tracking them. It's normally best to stick into one area and then just change just periodically. Like a lot of these puzzles, you know, it's pretty obvious where they're going to go. And then just kind of stick to one spot. I don't know how they don't see you over rocks. Unless these rocks are like mountains. And they're just like, we can't put mountains here. They're too freaking big. We'll just put rocks that are supposedly the size of mountains. But, you know, I've always, I've always hated this place because, you know... The water play in here, like, I guess it was supposed to be magma, but it was always, like, I've always been as a kid, I always thought it was blood, and this place always creeped me out, because I was like, oh, these people are demons, they have blood everywhere, ah, but I don't think it's blood, I'm pretty sure it's not blood, so, you know, yeah. Anyways, that odd, um, orange spot, we'll probably, we'll see that, like, very soon. This is the last bit of the puzzle, you just want to uh, keep to this one of the sides, and when they go down, go back up. They'll come around and they'll just go right down the middle like that. No big deal. Um, I remember that one really easily because it's just nothing special. Now this is the part I don't like. You, they they plant it. What what are they gonna do? Grow like a like a, a feather tree? Like well, stupid. How does the feather even make you jump anyways? That doesn't make sense. This game is filled of nonsense. I'm gonna quit my Pegasus Seeds thingies so I can run faster. Cause I think I'm probably running a little bit over time on this video, which is no big deal, of course, cause you all wanted to hear my voice. I'm sure of you didn't. I'm sure you didn't want to hear my voice at all, but you guys were like, oh, oh man, I, the average gamer, just to, just to appease you, we're gonna listen to you for like 15 minutes. Does that sound okay? And I'm like, okay, thanks, viewer of mine. You you bro, you bronette. Bronettes are like the female version of bros. I could say sis, but that's no fun. And now we have to, oh, I just fell into a, a thing of like molten cheese and salsa. No big deal though, because in the world of, oh, where, where are we? Oh, door? Hmm, I don't know, oh, a ladder. Ladder and another Gasha Seed. I don't know why Gasha Seed looks like tears. I always call them teardrops. I don't know. Kind of sad. Maybe it's a tree and it cries and its tears can be. Oh, and its tears can be made into like a sapling. Pretty cool stuff if you ask moi. And now we're in the final. Well, not the final, it's the third one, but where we're supposed to go. And another fairy. Oh man, who will. Oh, it's green just like me. Well. I'm the spirit of spring. Rock hard buds bloom in spring. It's a season of discovery. I think I can add up to the power of the hero with the triangle symbol. I loan you the power of the spirit of spring. Oh my god. So with that, everybody, we got the rod of seasons has been changed to spring. Spring do. Anyways, people, this is me again. And, you know, this has been Tag the Average Gamer. Hope you enjoyed. And stay tuned for the next episode. So, yeah, love you all. Adios.